Hi, Sagittarius. Welcome and welcome back to Prefer Her Tarot. Well, I love to see that you prefer me. Well, by talking to your readers, see what's going on with you all. Remember that the readers are in general. All of the messages will not resonate with everyone. If you all would like to be the person to read it with me, all of my information is down below. Let's get into this reading, Sag. Remember to hit the like button for me if you haven't already. Subscribe and hit the notification bell. Sag, I don't really like asking for, don for donations. Yes, of course, I accept them. Um, However... I'm looking for you all to join me when I do live personal readings, okay? They are a little bit, they are much lower than the ones that I've charged for pre-recorded, okay? So, overall, Angie, for the sign of Sagittarius, please, and thank you, purchasing personal readings. Help this channel grow, okay? It helps me keep going. Overall, energy for the sign of Sagittarius, please, and thank you. Overall energy for the sign of Sag. We have the Ten of Swords coming out. You might be feeling betrayed. You might be like, I'm tired of this. Whatever you're going through. You're tired of whatever you're going through. Ace of Swords. But you know it's not the time to give up right now. What's the Ten of Swords energy? It could be a Gemini in this situation as well. Clarify the Ten of Swords. Give me one hot second. Hold on. My bad. So we have the three of wands, the four of cups, and then we have the knight of wands. You're ready for something new. You're tired of doing what you've been dealing with. You're ready for some type of risk. But at the same time, I believe um, someone offered you something, right? Someone probably came around or came back around. Someone offered you something. You accepted the offer and you like, look. Why are you trying to play me like that? Or why did you play me after me being open to what you had going on? Yeah, it might have been an ex-lover because it seems like you're ready to block out this person now. So most important messages for the sign of Sagittarius, please. And thank you. Most important message for the sign of Sag. We have the two of pentacles in reverse. I'm here and stop trying to figure them out. Stop trying to control the situation. Let it go. It ain't even worth it. The three of pentacles at the bottom of the deck. Um, maybe you jumped in into a relationship or a collaboration a little bit too soon. More messages for the sign of Sag. We have the Emperor card, manning up, womaning up, bossing up type of energy, um, being clear, being decisive. We have the Tower card at the bottom of the deck and the Queen of Cups. So a relationship may have shifted. The way you had, the way you feel or the way you felt about someone has changed or vice versa someone could have been a third party situation you probably don't want to deal with it um yeah it seems like someone did not someone was not aware to be honest what i really feel is like a, a masculine energy who wasn't aware of the third party situation that they were in me and get they feelings hurt as well so uh, the death card at the bottom is the death card as i cut the deck more messages for the sign of Sag. We have the seven of wands. It's time to create boundaries. Create better boundaries for yourself, whether you're a woman or a man. It doesn't matter. This is masculine energy showing itself up, showing itself to say, look, protect yourself. You need to be protected. Have better boundaries. The queen of pentacles at the bottom of the deck with the six of cups and the strength card. Someone may be thinking about someone from their past. Okay. Someone who could be guarded. I've seen triple Leo energy there, but more messages for the sign of Sag. The hangman, let it go. Source said, let it go. Let it go. You'll be so much better without this energy, this person, whoever this is, the nine of pentacles at the bottom of the deck. Know your worth and know how to move on. And if you need help doing that, ask Source for the help. So what's the two of pentacles energy in reverse? Three of cups. Hey, wait, I mean, playing. Or same plan, I should say. Um, it was a third party situation. Don't try to control it, don't try to compete to be numero uno. I guess, I mean, no, for a man, if you want a situation like if you're in a third party situation, and the reason why I would say third party, maybe you're dealing with a woman and she's dating other people, neither one of you all are serious. I kind of get that, but at the same time, if this person isn't showing you that much interest, if they're not trying to make time for you and stuff like that. You put your guards up with that individual. And especially for a woman. He's not showing you any interest. Yeah, his interest is going to other people. Guards up. 
Guards up, let it go. It doesn't matter if you're a woman or a man in this situation. Don't care. Guards up, let it go. Let them play. Two of Pentacles in reverse. Why try to control them? Let people be who they are. Clarify the Emperor card. Who am I talking to? Sag. Um, we have the, yep, get cold with it. So we have the King of Swords clarifying the Emperor card. Your, uh, this masculine energy is showing up within, within you. Once again, masculine, whether a woman or a man here, this energy is showing up to defend you. It's like the ego, to be honest. Protecting your heart. The Ace of Cups at the bottom of the deck. You want something long term. You can have that. So with that being said, don't accept less than from a person um, or from an individual or energy where you know it's not getting, it's not going to take you to where you want to go. It's not going to give you what it is that you're looking for for the long term. Right? Get smart about this. Be more um, intellectual here with that King of Swords. Even if that means you're going to get a little cold with the person. What's the Seven of Wands? You said what well, you said. We have the Ace of Wands. Ain't no sleeping with this person. Ain't no sleeping with this person. What are we talking about here? If that's what it, it seems like, it could be a situation where that's all you all communicated about. Well, that was the only reason why they were calling you. And once again, women do it too. Call me in just for they, you know what? So, however it is, it's like block it out. See if they really like you. I think you already seeing a lot of betrayal from this individual, this energy. Knight of Swords with the Hierophant card and the High Priestess together. So I seen them together in the last reading that I was in. I see, I'm i seeing them together in this reading, even after the shuffling of cards. Some of that Hierophant and the High Priestess card together is showing me that people are becoming more spiritually enlightened. And it's about standing on that and, continue, and continuing to ascend. Allowing Source to help you as well. Getting more communication with source and realizing where you may have been hurting yourself. I see that as well. Allowing this type of energy to happen is allowing yourself to be hurt because it's like this not it's, it's not what you really want. Block it out. Put up your guards towards it. Love yourself first. What's the hangman? What's the hangman for the sign of um? And when they do come to offer, you don't have to accept it. You better watch these people first. What's the hangman? The justice card. This will bring in some type of balance for you. Justice. You letting it go. You watching and see how things play out instead of without you having to do anything. And it might just be over with the Ten of Swords energy because like I said, that, leave, that seems like betrayal. The Queen of Wands is at the bottom of the, of the deck there. You are with the Page of Pentacles. I said someone may come in with an offer. Page of Pentacles. Or you know you, you are deserving of more. You are worth more. So just be mindful to control your energy, control your emotions, even when things are not going your way. Remember to know your value. What's the justice card? Libra energy. Knight of Swords. Oh, yeah, this might be holding back your communication or always going towards this indiv individual or this energy or always being the one to initiate things. Knight of Swords. Tower card. Someone's feelings is changing. What's the Ace of Wands? The Five of Swords in reverse. Someone wasn't playing fair. Five of Pentacles. That's why you were probably feeling left out or vice versa. Someone feeling left out, feeling like they wasn't good enough, feeling like they wasn't receiving what it is that they wanted in, in the situation. A lack of reciprocity here because someone wasn't playing fair. And if it has something to do with sleeping with people's situation, that's terrible. What's the advice for the sign of Sag? Knowing your value. Knowing your worth. With the Nine of Pentacles. Knowing what it is that you deserve. Queen of, Queen, Queen of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. Excuse my energy. I ain't want to get them done yet. Um... Someone's thinking more about the long term, like I said. So it's not about instant gratification here. What is the Nine of Pentacles? You're setting yourself up for the future. What's the Nine of Pentacles? Ten of Wands. And it might be, it might feel like um, a struggle or a strain, or it might feel like a burden or overwhelming to be by yourself for a while. But when you know your value, it's like, at least you ain't carrying the baggage of someone else. Maybe it's time to rest on a relationship right now or choosing to love someone right now. Maybe it's time to focus on you. 
because focus on focus, focusing on someone outside of you is becoming a little toxic and i see see that with the devil card so look says i was reading i hope you all enjoyed it let me know down in the comments if it resonated how it resonated leave likes, like shares all of that good stuff i love you all that love me and i'll see you all next time bye